Today's devotional scripture is found in the book of James, chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, which reads, Confess, confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by that place for three years and six months. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. And the earth brought forth her fruit. This passage is one of several passages that point to what I call the great equalizer of mankind, sin. Yet man refuses to acknowledge his sin problem. But this passage urges us to confess our sins to one another, to pray for one another, that we may be healed not just from our physical maladies, but from our sin problems. It implies that we must seek righteousness because the prayers of the righteous bring great results from God. It gives us an example of Elijah. Elijah, the great man of God, who was just like us with same kinds of passions, like urges, and the same kinds of desires. But when he prayed with fervor, power, and persistence, it resulted in great things from God. So let us pray for one another and watch God work. Eternal and almighty God, God who is worthy of worship, God who deserves praise, and God who is full of glory. We humble ourselves before you today, O Lord, because we come as those who are unworthy, coming to a worthy God. Father, we come confessing our sins to you because your word says that all have sinned and come short of your glory. Your word says that there's none righteous, no, not one. Your word says that we've all gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But you, Lord, have laid the iniquity of us all on our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for sending Christ to die for our sins and to give us an example of how we can live this life. We live in a time, O oh Lord, where men don't recognize you. Men think sin is right or don't recognize sin. So, Lord, we lift up our government officials. We lift up the federal government officials, the state government officials, our local officials, those who are in charge. We lift up our communities to you, O oh Lord. And most of all, our friends, our family, and our local church family. Oh, Lord, look upon the leadership of this church that we might follow the example of Jesus to live a life that is pleasing unto you. Keep us, oh, Lord, in your way. Let your will be done in our lives that we might give you the glory, the honor that you do. Oh, Lord, give us comfort peace, power, and protection in the name of Jesus. Amen.